Hello everyone and welcome to our next tutorial of Quick Surface. In this tutorial we will speak a little bit about solids. Uh, in the other videos we demonstrated how we can create a reverse engineering of this part, but in this video we will show you something that is a bit more efficient. So this is I reconstructed with revolved surfaces some other parts here, so I ended up to this uh, model so far. Uh, but it's not ready yet. As you can see, we need to create a cylinder here. We need to create patterns, cut off this. And um, let's uh, move on. I will just take this cylinder, which is my cylinder at the bottom. And uh, uh, current behavior with the traditional trim approach would be that I will just pick this object, then this one, and then I'll go and create trim. So I can click and remove the, um, the unnecessary uh, areas and then I can press OK. But there are some disadvantages of this because later this will depend where you have clicked, how you, if you modify the object, how this will be handled. So that's why we would like to show you a different approach. And one is that you take this cylinder in our uh, version of quick surface you can right click and edit the cylinder so now there is an option that you can create the cylinder as a surface or as a solid and in this case i'll make it a solid so now i have my um, cylinder here it's capped on both sides and it goes through the object so the first operation i'll show you is called um, cut so you you pick the base object you select the object which needs to be a solid and then you select from the trim button there is a cut from selected solid you can also access this function from construct cut from selected solid when you call this the software enters in preview mode so you can pick now the object that will be will take away material from our solid and I click on this one so now I'm ready and I can press OK. The advantage of this is that the parametric model just keeps knows that from this body we will remove the cylinder and this is how it is defined. We have we created here another extruded object which looks like this one and this again needs to go through this um, object. So we have an uh, option here when you create sketches if the profile is uh, closed, you can actually automatically uh, create a solid from the extrusion. Uh, I just right click here on my extruded surface or you can press the edit button. So there is an option here which is called solid. This doesn't mean that it, it will always create solids, but it will create solid only if the um, profile which defines the extrusion, the sketch is actually closed. So I select this uh, option and as you can see this is a solid body. So again I can do, come here, I can take this object from the tree, I can go to the trim menu and I can say cut from the selected object. I can click and as you see it automatically takes this away. Another approach is that instead of doing this I can go back and go to my previous cut operation and I can edit and you can reset this means that it re removes the um, information which one has been used and you can click pick this one and you can pick this one so within a single operation you can create your um, cutting body so again let's look at the um, on the top and uh, we have here a couple of i'll just right click and hide everything else so i can see the mesh you see i have a pattern here and i will show my solid body now i created uh, a small cylinder here which will be used for for these purposes again the simple approach would be i will just right click here edit and i make this as a solid cylinder now i will just go select my cylinder and will create a circular pattern this is uh, it. Uh, my z-axis is uh, not correctly aligned, so I will put this in a top view, 
as you see actually it's aligned uh, to the outer cylinder and this is my y-axis here so that's why I will select y-axis as my reference as you see we have um, two instances and you see that this is uh, not correct so I need to use actually my small cylinder which was uh, this one because everything is aligned to this um, cylinder and here I need to have uh, five instances I will preview and I press OK so now I have my pattern I will just uh, again will select my circular pattern with control I can select my uh, body of my last um, operation and I can go and do combine or I can do cut in this case I need to this needs to be used as a base I select this cut cut from selected solid and now I can just click on the object as you see it took all the um, elements of the pattern and took them away from my solid I press OK the good thing about this is that I can always go for example right click and edit my pattern I can change this to 12 for example as many as I want I press OK and my object is uh, regenerated and recreated without any user interaction I hope this video is useful. Thank you for watching.